What's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and Hello. we're here with another Alisa and Morella collab. We have something really special for you today because we're gonna take you on an honest journey yeah. of removing how many years of black box dye? 33 years. 33 years. 33. And black box and black pro just layered on top of each other. Yesterday, Lisa basically spent the entire day just doing the color removal process, which we're gonna go through with you in just a moment. And today is day two. We are basically gonna go in with a whole lot of correction today. And honestly, we have no freaking clue how it's gonna turn out. Nope. So that's the beauty of it, right? This is a real life hair salon-ish. But before we move on, oh. make sure you hit that subscribe <laughs> button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video. Now let's go ahead and get started. Today we did a full blown day of just color correcting. So I partnered with Malibu C Pro. If you guys haven't used our products, you definitely need to. So I partnered with them and we did an all day correction of just using their color disruptor and their CPR packets. So my whole goal, my whole project was I wanted to see how light I could get someone's hair with just using the color disruptor and the CPR. So we would wash, clarify with the undo goo, then put on the color disruptor, let her process for 20 minutes, rinse that out, then did the CPR, let it process for 45 minutes, rinse that out, and we did it three different times. I have a video of each each and every step, and I also did a test strand in between every single step because I wanted to see how light and how much pigment was actually coming out of her hair. So I did that because I wanted to see how light I could get her hair with just using just using a color remover and a vegan color remover at that. And also, I wanna see how light I can get it without using lightener. We did that too to prep her hair for today because since it is 33 years of color, it's a lot of buildup. So we are prepped, ready to rock and roll, and we're gonna get started. So after doing all of the CPR, in between each step, I did a test strand. So this is the first one. It's nice, it's not that light. It was pretty light through the top, got really dark through the mids, and then was obviously really, really dark through the very right ends of her hair. So then this is test strand number two. So you can tell visibly that it got lighter. So this is definitely a lot more boring, just starting to get more blonde, and the lightness is starting to come down the hair shaft. So now there's only one band right here, and then of course the all the dark box color bands on the very, very bottom. But then number three kind of shocked me. I feel like it shocked everybody. So this is number three. This is the most even that we got it. It is pretty damn blonde. Slight, slight, slight banding through the ends, but it's actually pretty consistent. But this, that color made me so excited. Mm -hmm. Yep, number one versus number three. You can visibly Dang. see the difference. Yeah. yeah, so much lighter right there. Literally, it's like perfect there. So both of these were done with transparent lightener. Yeah, transparent lightener, 15 minutes max. But it, transparent lightener doesn't exist anymore. It does not. However, we have a lot of it because it's our favorite. And I like to use it for this reason, because transparent, showcases all of what's going on to the hair. Doesn't have any like additives that are gonna tone it or whatever the case may yeah. be. So if you, when you're doing a strand test, basically you're gonna wanna do a gentle, very gentle. Or and something that it doesn't have blue in it or yeah. purple. White, no ammonia, something super gentle. Doesn't have a lot of lift, like doesn't have a lot of power. Yeah. So you don't wanna blast through, you just really wanna showcase what's underneath all those layers. So yeah, we're really excited to get our hands in this. Yeah. Let's go. Lisa and I decided that we're gonna be using the Oligo Cool Toned Blonde. Yeah. And we do have it in this container because we dump out all of our lighteners just to keep it a little bit more organized. But we probably have about seven lighteners that we use at any given moment. The main reason for that is because different lighteners do different things. We could definitely go in with a lot of different options here, but we just felt like this one was the best choice because why? Well, the Oligo, <laughs> what we've noticed with corrections, we've noticed that the Oligo, it gives you a lot of lift, but it doesn't, it's not like hellaciously powerful. So you kind of have a little bit of leeway. So if you're like a slower foiler, slower foiler, you have a little bit more leeway with the Oligo. Like we love Joyco, but Joyco is definitely for like those super pigmented. Yeah. The Joyco Blonde Life is yeah. very aggressive and yeah. it's great. It has Fantastic. a purpose. Fantastic, yeah. It definitely has a purpose. Yeah. And this one's like, I feel like, like a general. Yeah, and I feel like this one's gonna give me a little bit more lift. Yeah. Um, but not not, not, uh, not aggressively. It's gonna give yeah. us some cushion because it does have the bond technology yep. built within its developers. So there's lots of different lighteners that have bond technology in them. Uh, I personally really like Kenra's as well, but 
at the same time, I think this one overall is gonna deliver what we need yeah. for this type of correction on really fine hair. Do, we do need to mention too, she is, she is okay with cutting it. Yes. So that is a huge plus. Yeah. It's definitely something that you want to discuss in the consultation. Mix our lightener one ounce at a time. One ounce at a time because when you mix more than one ounce, uh, lightener only really has a shelf life of 60 minutes once it's oxidized, or once, I'm sorry, once it's mixed. So 60 minutes after the fact, it starts to lose its potency. So we only do one ounce at a time because we can, we can breeze through one ounce, right? We've all had those situations where we mix more than an ounce and we mix mix too much or it starts to swell. It's because the swelling is coming from the rapid oxidation that's coming from the air. All right, so we're gonna be prepping her with K18. So this is the box, obviously not the box. We're gonna be using this bad boy. All right, so first we're gonna spray. It's gonna be a fun day. <laughs> <laughs> and then you missed. All right, so this is really the way to do it. Yes. <laughs> so you want to thoroughly, 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 thoroughly saturate the hell out your client's hair. Well, you don't want to saturate. You actually do. <laughs> Fun fact. Just want to make sure it's like damp. Yes, this is damp. You don't want it dripping wet. No, you don't want it dripping, but you definitely do want it saturated. Now, with the K18, this, the mist, you can't overspray it. The point of this is to open up the cuticle and allow that restoring process to start happening. You know why I know this? Because I'm K18 certified. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I partnered with K18. There we go. But no, this is not sponsored by them. Basically, what Lisa does with K18 is a lot of extra. In general, K18 is going to tell you to do like five, three to five sprays for the whole head. But as you can see, she does a lot more. So for something like this, honestly, it's better to kind of like over prep it. Yeah. Cause her hair's already gone through a lot from yesterday and now today. Yep, so we're just we're just making, this is like added insurance. This is something we didn't show in the very, very beginning, but you can see how white her hair is. It's okay. actually a really pretty silver. Mm -hmm. it's, it's honestly gorgeous. Yeah. It's like the perfect salt and pepper. So we're just, our goal is just to kind of be a lot more low maintenance try to grow this bad boy out, right? Her goal is to not be in here every six weeks. We talked about like maybe every three, four, five months. So our objective is to get all of this out and to make it the most blended thing possible. So we're gonna go in with a full platinum card. Slitting this right down the middle, you know. Our favorite sectioning. Our favorite sectioning. <laughs> Diagonal backs, but they never really are. So we're gonna separate into the traditional four quadrants. Top of the crown to behind the ear. We can see that there, boom. And then we're gonna clip that bad boy out of the way. All right, so like I mentioned, we were using Oligo Cool Toned Blonde. This is mixed at a one to two mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. We decided to use 20 volume developer because she had a really great lift and we wanted to start out on the lower side. We didn't think that using 10 was going to be productive whatsoever with this canvas because keep in mind we did three rounds of color remover using color disruptor and CPR. Because Lisa and I are working in tandem, we do like to do these diagonal backs. It just makes the foiling process a little easier. And you can also see we are flat wrapping. So this is just taking the foils, laying down really thin sections of hair and painting it right on down. I'm not really focused so much on folding the hair up or anything like that. However, as I get towards the top and the hair does get a little longer, I do slightly fold up that hair, but this is all about proper saturation taking that line right where her new growth is at she is pretty dark here but we're just kind of feathering up that line we don't want a super harsh line of demarcation keep in mind that our goal is to remove all of this black box dye ideally she would love to have a silver gray shade that would match her new growth perfectly so she has an easy grow out but she is also aware that it might take a few sessions but we're gonna try to work as much as we can in this one session so this is all about taking really thin sections doing proper saturation and letting the lightener do its job we already know that we're gonna probably do a second round of lightener just depending on exactly how much lift we can really get out of this hair 
Now, if you were going to try to do a platinum card on your own, you might want to try using the Fermar Big Papa foils and just doing horizontal sections. You'll get through this application much faster. All the links to all of my favorite Fermar tools are in the description down below. All right, so we've pretty much got quite a bit up. What are, where are we on our minute 45? Yeah. <laughs> we've been zooming. So I'm actually going to pick out, this is where her test rounds were at. And I totally forgot to film that part, but got another one here for you just to kind of show you what we're doing. So I'm going to actually pick this bad boy out. And we're going to tap it in with either something different or same just later, mm -hmm. just because we want it to process at the same time. Yeah. So I'm going to clip this away. And I'm going to apply the lightener the same exact way we've been doing mm -hmm. and then once I get this on I'm gonna sandwich it and then put that bad boy down and I'll just lightly probably tap it with the conditioner so that way we know exactly where it's at we can go through and help it lift where it needs to be yep sorry I can't talk and do hair at the same time it's hard Holy crap it's hard and airy I feel like I'm talking like a robot yeah Pretty much. <laughs> that sounds like a monkey. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I just put my hand all up in that. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull this down. And I just have a regular conditioner. You can do a mask if you wanted to, but honestly it doesn't really matter. It's just a little piece of hair. Putting conditioner on it. And why are we doing that, Mies? So that way it sticks to the foil. Ooh. And I'm gonna sandwich this down. For me, I'm just gonna fold this yeah. down so I know what the placeholder is, exactly where it is. So when this is closer to its end time, I can find this easily and then tap it. Each artist does things differently. So she did it that way. I'm just pushing them out into the middle section. So that way I can just pull these, whatever but they achieve the exact same result. She's doing it her way, because that's how it fits for her, and I'm doing it my way, because that's how it fits for me. But guess what? They achieve the same damn result. They do, but Morella's way is way better. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, All right, Team Lisa, Team Morella, which one? Team Lisa. <laughs> It's a thing now. I love it I love when people are on my YouTube channel and they'll comment Team Lisa or Team Morella. It's mm -hmm. great. All right, so let's take a peek. We just finished the entire back section. Let's take a peek at the very, very bottom. We'll see what it's doing. Nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's orange, but... Hey, not been processing for too long and it's only at a one to three. Wow. <laughs> We're going to let this bake because it... We need to get some more lift out of this. So we just got a towel letting the heat kind of do its thing. We don't like to use heat with any of our processing. So this is the next best solution. For the front, I'm gonna be taking diagonal sections as well, and this just helps keep it nice and organized. Again, while we get towards that top section, Lisa and I will not be bumping into each other. Now, keep in mind, the size of your section that you're working with. As you get to that wider section, you'll notice that I'm actually gonna split it into two. Now, Lisa does it a little bit differently. Again, there's a million ways to do the same thing, but we're gonna get the same exact end result. For me, it's all about making sure that I'm properly saturating my hair strand, so that way I get an even lift. So exactly how your lightener looks is exactly how it's going to lift. So make sure you really push that lightener through use your brush and if you need to you can even use your hands which you'll see us use a little later in our second application now if you need a little bit more inspiration or just some other ideas on how to remove black box dye red hair dye or just simply any type of color correction i have tons of videos right here on my channel to check out those videos be sure to head down to the link in the description down below now this is the little area where I start to separate 
the side section from the very top section. And it's simply because it just started to get a little wide for me. And I know personally, this is a very important area for clients because this is the area that they see first. So I'm gonna go ahead and isolate that little baby hair area, taking it from the center all the way to the side and simply just put them in individual foils. That way I can also remove these if necessary. And this is gonna help tremendously because typically this area has really soft, fine hair and it typically lifts a lot quicker than the hair that's in the interior. Then once I get to a very comfortable spot where the head starts to narrow or the section starts to narrow, I can then again go ahead and marry it into just one big section. So basically what I'm saying here is customize it to your comfortability. It doesn't have to be any certain way. It, this is all about trying to get an even lift and an even end result. All right, so now we have all of the foils in. We're gonna continue to let this bake, but first we're gonna check out the back. All right, you see that? This is me not saturating enough, or my section was not thin enough. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So this side looks blonder than this side. I made a mistake. So we're gonna start pulling out the foils. Um, what we're noticing though is the top half, of course, is beautiful. The bottom half is definitely darker and banning quite a bit, but that's okay because that's the box color at its finest. We're gonna go with the Oligo Extra Blonde. Again, we're gonna do uh, one ounce of this to, we're gonna do two, we're gonna do a one to two ratio for this bad boy. And we're gonna use the Big Papa Foils by Fr Framar. Um, to marry everything together and then uh, keep going. So yeah, start taking these foils out and reapplying. <laughs> Don't mind me. Sexy. Ooh. Oh shit, I ain't got my damn leaf blenders on. Oh, that is sexy. A little bit. That's really good. A little bit at a time. Uh, that's why I'm grabbing the top half, you goofball. So even though there were two of us, we still technically needed an extra hand to pull these out one by one. And once we got a better, closer look at this, we were like, what the heck, let's just go and remove all of these foils. So definitely needed an assistant this day because filming and doing this in tandem was super difficult and more than I could chew. So I'm going back in, taking my frame art, bleach blenders. Yeah. And then I actually have a brush dedicated to brushing out bleach out. So you can tell this brush is crusty as hell, okay? But I do this, A, to make sure that when we apply the second time, the product's gonna go on evenly, and B, I'm checking for integrity right now. So if I can easily, say I'm easily just going through this, that's a good sign. That makes me happy. Her hair is soft, it's still attached, it's not stringy. But boy, goddamn, is it banded. Good lord. All right, so we just put down the big papas and did a smaller section here and we're reapplying. So what did you mix up? This is Oligo Extra Blonde. <laughs> Extra Blonde with 20 ball. 20 ball. Oops, sorry. So I'm just going right over top of everything again. And this is just to create that consistent Coverage. I'm not going directly to the root this time because the roots I'm not too worried about It's the banding in between everything else So I'm gonna hit this guy too Oops, sorry Here's a cool little pro tip that I learned from Rella take your comb comb it through this is going to ensure proper coverage. I'd probably go in with a thicker one. I don't yep. know where that other one is at. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is real time, right? Oh yeah, look at me ripping holes. This is a size that's really good to use for bleach. We're gonna take our big papa and we're gonna lay it right on top and then go in with another section. Now, 
from here, I'm gonna start applying it with my hands instead of using the foil. My section, my lightener brush, and literally start applying it onto my hands. Look at that dark piece I've missed. Mm, mm, mm. Happens to the best of us, right? Nice. When you apply- yeah, I think the working it in with your hands is going to it's the best option, honestly, for a second round. Mm -hmm. Just making sure you really work it through. Yeah. We already knew that we were gonna have to do a second layer of bleach anyways. Yep. Because of the canvas we're working with. I mean, look at how orange we got hers. This is definitely like a six with some sevens in there. So mm -hmm. now we're trying to get her to some nines. Nines and tens, that's, baby. That's the goal That's here. the goal. But if we don't do it, then we it's don't okay. do it. We'll adjust. Now, I've seen a lot of people say this. Oh, you shouldn't brush through the hair when there's lightener in it. If you can't brush the hair when there's lightener in it, that's a problem. I concur. <laughs> As I break Marilla's lens. I had to put the camera down so I could really help out Lisa at this point because this application took us literally a lot longer than we ever had anticipated. So if you plan on taking on a project as big as this, be sure to find your hair bestie, split the profits. It honestly will be so worth it. It makes really great content. And honestly, it's really fun to do hair with someone else. It makes the time go by really fast and we were able to get this on in less than 30 minutes. So this is the front pool right here and we do have a little bit of spots kind of going on. So this is another reason why it's good to do two sessions of lightener in one day if you're able to because getting an even lift is really really difficult even with doing the color disruptor and the CPR so we're really excited we got the back already applied letting that process and now we're working towards the front we have another process here so we're gonna go and eat some lunch lunch how long are we gonna process for 30 minutes yeah check it out ish 30 minutes ish and check it, so we'll be back. Her hair feels really good. Her ends are definitely a little angry. You can kind of see they're bunging a little bit. Yeah, I was feeling that when I was uh, in the front, um, when I was reapplying, but it was like literally a meter of it. Yeah. It's literally just the ends of the hair. Look how yellow it is. Oh dear God, it's so yellow. <laughs> uh, yeah. All things considered, dog. Wow. Mm -hmm. Still seeing lots of orange, though, on those ends. Yep, so I'm what I'm thinking. Green, blue, rapid toner with clear. Yes, sir. Jet, look at the water. I know. See the color of the water? Yeah, there's green coming out. Yep. It's weird. That's all those dyes. This looks great, though, right here. Oh, yeah. The I face? Mean, honestly, it looks awesome. All right, let's do the bleach finder. It's such a fun... Shampoo. It turns pink when you find bleach. Well, how are you gonna see the pink in this uh, canvas here? Oh Lisa? no, it's like hot pink. <laughs> oh, okay. So any stylist that says, please bleach finder, I'm too good for that. They all a bunch of corn balls. I'm that stylist. You're a corn ball. <laughs> I don't need bleach finder, I'm too good I for mean, that. It's it's kind of a cool idea. Dude, it's I'm a just, dope idea. Are you joking? I'm not. I'm not a fan. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys like this crap. <laughs> <laughs> it turns hot pink when it finds bleach. That's so cool. I don't see any hot pink. Well, it's because I rinsed all the bleach out because I'm good like that. No, you didn't shampoo it once. Correct. But I'm that good at rinsing. Uh, I don't know about that. We gotta put the cut tin in there. One. Emulsify, 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 apply, apply, apply. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do two pumps. We decided, I was watching Lisa wash out the hair and I'm seeing a lot of peach tones, mm -hmm. orange tones, mm -hmm, yellow mm -hmm, tones. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. And ideally when we were first started to do the thinking process on this, we were like, mm -hmm. oh, green, blue, rapid toner. And Good. I think it would be great, but then she's also got some of those lighter pieces. Yeah. And then I was like thinking SV, green, rapid, to green, blue, rapid toner. And then I was like, oh, that might be muddy. So anyway, Lisa we're was like- anyway. Yeah, she was like, let's do SV. And then we both kind of like thought the same thing. So now we're going to do both of them. Yep. So, But we're doing green blue for the orange, the darker pigments, right? Mm -hmm. We're doing SV as the base. I know, you've been holding it around your, across your face the whole time. We're doing SV as the base <laughs> because it's lighter for those yellow peachy tones. So 
We're kind of covering all of our bases. Oh, shit. So we're gonna do one ounce of SV Rapid Toner, yes. a ribbon of green blue. One to two. One to two, pre-tone. And then Lisa's gonna give her a cut, blow dry her out, and let's see what our canvas we're working with. Yeah. One more time in case you missed it. We're using Kendra Professional Demi Permanent, two ounces of SV Rapid Toner to one inch ribbon of green blue Rapid Toner mixed at a one to two mixing ratio with its dedicated nine volume developer and making sure to thoroughly saturate. This is what it's toned to. It's kind of dark over here, but overall you can see a lot of those peachy tones are starting to disappear mm -hmm. before your eyes. This is about five to seven minutes in and we were getting really excited to see how much orange was just disappearing. Honestly, if you've ever tried to remove orange pigment from the hair, you know that it is very difficult to tone out. And I think Lisa and I nailed this formula. This is definitely gonna be in our arsenal, something that we're gonna use time and time again. And we're gonna let this process for a full 20 minutes, but this is where we got really excited. We started filming so we could put little teasers on Instagram and on TikTok. Overall, this pre-toner is giving us such a beautiful canvas so we can truly customize it. But let me know down in the comments below if you are gonna try out this green blue rapid toner formula or if green blue rapid toner just simply scares the crap out of you. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. I'm gonna look at this. I'm oh my gosh. Look at this. Seriously, and it's such in great condition. Literally. It's combable. We got a little bit of ends that we're gonna be trimming down. Yeah, these guys right here, they're a little, they're actually, put 18 on them, they're for total yeah. time. Honestly, this is a great canvas. Woo, are you ready? I'm fucking ready. I'm ready. Lisa and I 100% dried her hair. We had to take her outside just to really analyze our canvas before mixing up our final formula. And unfortunately, it wasn't just one final formula, which I'll explain in just a little bit, but nonetheless, what is living underneath this canvas right here is that bright freaking orange level sixes and seven oranges and i'm just blown away by this canvas to be quite honest with you so lisa and i decided we need to mix up our final this is i think one of four final formulas that we ended up doing but I'll just go ahead and walk you through what the heck we did. It, this was a, this was a doozy. Bottom line is, anytime you want to go gray or silver, even though you've been doing hair for a gazillion years, you have to get it to a level 9, 10, and we were just being a little too ambitious with this one. So what Lisa is putting on right on this root area is Demi Permanent 6 NUA equal parts to 8 SM at a 1 to 1 mixing ratio, again on dry hair. And then she's blending that into no ammonia lightener with 10 volume developer. We're gonna see if we can get a little bit more lift out of this, just a little bit more pop of blonde. And overall, we're just trying to create some dimension, a little bit of a shadow and keeping it a little darker in the back, which is why we're using six NUA and 8SM. But like I mentioned, even though we're using very ashy cool tones, we still struggled quite a bit. So take this with a grain of salt. If you need to get to a silver shade, bottom line, we probably just couldn't have lifted her hair any more than what we were able to do today. So you have to be able to communicate to your client that you just can't go silver. And she knew that that was definitely a possibility. So overall, in order to create this dimension, she blended that Demi right on down and she's alternating how high each of these foils of lightener is going up so on some of the pieces so like this one's the lightener is going up a little higher and then on the second one she's doing kind of like a tip out so the lightener is just going to exist on the very very ends like i mentioned we were being a little ambitious here we were just trying to get a, one more round of lightener if possible again we her hair was in great condition so we just decided let's try it one more time with 10 vol and see how far we could push it all right, so now we're graduating to 8 NUA from this formula. We're still using the no ammonia. We have the back section completely done, and this is the outline here. So now we just kind of separated this. So I take these we're little muzzle guys. Work on the top now. So this is all going to be 8 NUA blending mm -hmm. into no ammonia. no ammonia lightener in various patterns because we want to create the most natural looking end result and that's by creating a lot of uneven pieces yep essentially
In case you missed that, what she's tapping in on this top section here is Demi Permanent 8 NUA. So you can see she still has those natural gray roots going on and that's exactly what we wanted because we want the grow out to be really soft. That was the whole purpose with this. We don't want a lot of maintenance. So the 8 NUA is going to really cool it down. It's gonna blend in her gray really beautifully. And Lisa's still trying to add in some more dimension by bringing that 8 NUA down a little bit and blending it into the 10 volume no ammonia. Now it is mixed at a one to two mixing ratio. So it is rather gentle, but it's still something you wanna keep an eye on anytime you're doing multiple lightning services in one day. So even though this was put on relatively quickly, I feel like Lisa probably whipped this up in 30 minutes or so. She still was checking in on them, making sure her hair in the integrity of it was in great condition. Again, we couldn't have done this without two people minimum. Wow, what a project, what a project. And you're not even done with the front though. <laughs> hey, I've been ripping through this though. <laughs> I could have done it faster. <laughs> and cheaper with way less product. <laughs> okay. We left the many piece for last, and as you can see, we got a really gorgeous blend, got lots of dimension going on. We let it process for about 20 minutes and just kept an eye on it, just kept an eye on all of that lightener kind of going on. But look at how beautiful this looks. So this is kind of where we started to kind of make a mistake. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is day two and it's getting late and we're getting delirious. We did eat some food, but we probably could have put a little bit better thinking caps on at this point. So we went in with a final color toner with Demi Permanent 8SM and 9VM, one to two with nine volume developer. I think we could have totally put it on dry hair instead of wet and mixed it up one to one and probably did a little less SM. And overall, we were just really hoping that it would look a lot more cooler and silver than what she turned out with. So while this was sitting on, we decided that we needed to cool down some more of the orange. It was just kind of starting to peek through a little bit and this was because of the lightning process that we did again. So we layered in some Moroccan oil and then some Pelour and the Pelour is really blue. And while this looked really beautiful at nighttime, you can see how blonde it looks. We just felt that we're gonna try one more time for a silver tone, so we layered in some 7SM with 8VM, and we weren't happy with that one either, so then we layered on some 8VM with 8VV because we were starting to see a little bit of a green cast. So that somewhat corrected it. We weren't too happy with it, but we settled on the final color, which was 7B and 8V and we just decided to stop there. We're gonna see her back in a couple more weeks. We're gonna see how this fades out. But overall, we're really happy with the end result going from black box dye of 33 years to this gorgeous blonde shade. And all of the formulas and everything that we did is in the description down below. All right, that's a wrap. And this was day three of doing our hair. Overall, we are pooped, we're tired. I literally went home last night and I crashed and I slept. I didn't sleep. And then after today of doing the toner, twice. 22 and a half hours. We couldn't get her to silver. No. That's the reality. There's too much melanin on her ends and yep. if we went any further, her ends would just fry off. 100%, so we got her to the, this gorgeous blonde. Yeah. Even with all of that neon orange underneath, I think that's pretty impressive for one go round. Yeah. We'll probably see her back in a couple weeks so she can get a touch up. I think we're gonna yeah. do we're gonna do it safely. We're just gonna start to build the silver in her hair because totally. her hair her ends are definitely they're a little scary. And that's that is the reality of getting rid of thirty three years of box color. Black. Box. Black. Mm -hmm. The hardest one to get rid of as well as trying to safely get someone to gray. And gray, if you guys don't know this, is void of all pigment. There's nothing in it. You have to, we have to like get the hair to right. a level nine, 10 yeah. easily. You have to go push past that orange and mm -hmm. her hair just wasn't doing it. So, and that's okay. Yeah, Honestly, she's really happy about it though. This color looks amazing. We're happy with it and she's happy with it. And that's yeah. all that matters. We really hope you enjoyed this hair video crazy. If you did, please give it a like. 
and subscribe to so, our free Lisa G because I'm better. Everybody on here is Team Morella, no, let's be not. real. And if you want more free education sent right to your inbox, head to morellamanelli.com. You should though. It's and awesome. if you I learn a lot from her videos. <laughs> if you want to learn more about the business end of the hair industry, social media, how to do brand partnerships and monetize, all of the good stuff of what I do and and what Lisa does, join me in Beyond the Chair Mastermind. I'm gonna put all of the links in the description down below. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to listen to my podcast, Hair BNB. It's a podcast where I help hair stylists just like you with us basically elevate their hair beauty and business. To take away anything from all of this, truly, you guys should check out Beyond the Chair Mastermind. And I'm not just saying that, but I'm Stop saying it, it because <laughs> I am a true testament of this program. And I've helped her mold it because this brain is full of knowledge. It's very full of knowledge. <laughs> and I'm really happy that she's finally sharing it because she doesn't, I don't think she sees how valuable the knowledge she has. Is, so, Beyond the Chair is. Honestly, one of the only programs I've ever seen out there that is designed for creatives because as creatives we understand the logistics like we know how to do hair, right? Eat hair's easy. But the numbers and the social media and like the revenue and like whatever all those words that she says, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> so if you don't know anything about the business side of your career, I, truly I really suggest taking this and being a part of it because there's a lot more things that uh, I did not know about, not even close, that has helped me a lot build my business and I mean hell, I built I built a TikTok following in six months. So. Yeah, you've done an amazing job. From zero to 150K. Yeah. Gotta put in the work though. That's the, the That's main a, thing. Yeah. yeah. If your hairstylist just wants, you know, some more formula tips behind the scenes, more of what I do, also make sure to check out my membership here on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Um, this Grandma. is where I, basically this video is only gonna come out to my members. Oh! whole seven days before it's released to anybody else with all the formulas and all the things okay. so okay. it's definitely a perk yeah, yeah it is nice and finally be sure to check the rest of my videos out right here on my channel and all the links to lisa g will be down below as well I and you, lisa g, we'll baby. see you in the next video bye